a lot of my subscribers youtube subscribers they want to get a job outside the india so uh, yeah, yeah. what is the road map to get a job uh, in salesforce outside the india that's hard it's hard i get i get hit up um, almost on a weekly basis not just from india someone yesterday hit me up from from uh from from hong kong wanting to come to, to the us and so I, i i i get it i get requests from all over the globe right about opportunities coming to the us i don't really have a a great answer a couple of ideas though are getting your masters here right and getting on opt right so you you get your bachelor's in india you come to the us if you can on a masters degree get you know graduate with a masters get opt for 2 years right and then hopefully get your h1b status working in motion and be able to work for an organization that's willing to sponsor most of the big consulting companies not all of them some of them you know the 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 web pros the cognizance accentures a lot of them are sponsoring h1s right and so you know i think going the education route is a good step right to be able to come to the us and be able to get your education here your secondary ed- education um or working for an organization this is a little bit harder working for an organization that has a presence in both india and the us right and that doesn't mean that you know day one they're going to transfer you all the way to the us you know automatically but i think if you can be with a company for a few years in india kind of set the precedence establish yourself talk to them after kind of proving yourself that you're interested in working in the us office see if they'd be willing to put in the sponsorship request to get you to the work to the US to work right now I know that's a long road ahead um but there is you know it's not it's not easy I worked in in London for a year and I was with Accenture and they had me uh I I proved myself I think it was I was two or three years into my career at at Accenture and they had an opportunity for to go to London and they were willing to to pay my work visa they were willing to pay for my apartment they were willing to pay for my travel to work in London but I already had been known as a specialist and they had a need there and there was no one I guess in the greater London area that had that special skill set that I had and they were willing to pay the difference for me to work over there and then I had that there's an opportunity for me to go to Australia for example so Accenture had an office in Australia and there's a big Oracle project going on there and there was an opportunity for me to go there and relocate for I don't know a year or two years to Australia now it didn't work out cuz I had personal stuff going on here in the US but those are the kind of examples that I ran into and I you know being an Accenture I also had people from India coming into the US that were working in in the US and had been transferred over because they had been with Accenture for 2 3 5 10 years and they had the opportunity to present themselves to come to the US to work so I think secondary education and then looking at companies who might have a US presence and an India presence and be able to transfer offices over time but you know neither if you go through neither one of those approaches and just try to find someone that's going to willing to take you over i mean you're if you're currently living in india and willing to find a us company that would that would transfer you over to to the us and start you working on day one here i don't i think that's going to be very hard to do unless you know somebody unless you have some tight knit relationships with some some folks that are already in the us that are willing to to hear you out um otherwise I just because there's I think a lot of times there's there's US talent that they can rely on and it's less of a headache for them to be able to do the visa process and all that unless you have someone that you have a you know an uncle or a cousin or somebody that you already know here that can help get you a little bit closer to the front door so as a student like uh, deloitte also has uh, two offices like one in india and one in us so yeah. we have we should Uh, as a student we have to target those companies who have offices in india also and us also so that uh, keeps our journey easy it, it it is easier i'm not saying that's going to be necessarily uh, uh, instantly instantly gratif- you know won't happen overnight yeah. but i think doing that gives you an opportunity versus going a different route. I just think that if, you know, Deloitte's a great example. I see Deloitte has offices. I see a lot of people on LinkedIn that say, you know, working Deloitte at the Indian office, right? And so, um, yes, essentially kind of building that long-term roadmap as far as if you want to come to the US, you know, and I staff a lot of Salesforce developers that are H1Bs in the US on projects and a lot of times they came over for a master's degree right or they were used to work at deloitte and now they they came you know they're deloitte in the india then they came to deloitte in the us and now they decided to leave deloitte and get sponsored they have someone else pick up their h1b you know another staffing company here in the us and now they're an independent contractor essentially but yes to your point is uh, deloitte would be another example of of a way you could chip away at this 
yeah that's a, i think that's the great uh, part to go with yeah so 